I've got two interventions that I facilitate for leaders. One program is called Finding Your Sweet Spot. The second program is called The High Impact Leader in the Fourth Industrial Revolution. And my belief is there are two worlds that we live in. One, I want to call it the physical world. This is the ego world where we fight and we compete. And the other world is the selfless world, is the spiritual world. And most leaders are faced with this big black bubble in the middle. They're fierce, they are unknowns, and you have to cross over to the other side. So we engage with this, those type of issues to say, what does it take for you to cross over? What are the fears that you're confronted with? What do you need to do to cross over? And finding your sweet spot, really, the first element that we unpack is love. You really need to love and love unconditionally. You need to manage your thoughts and think good thoughts and nurture good thoughts. You need to focus on making impact and helping other people. You need to focus on nurturing your own brand and your own values. And then you need to embrace financial wealth principles so that you can attract money. But since people are scared to do these things, they experience a lot of pain and that pain drives them towards their sweet spot to a point where they're able to take a stand. So when we talk about finding your sweet spot, these are the issues that we cover. In my second program, we talk about the high impact leader in the fourth industrial revolution. Here, you need to understand what the fourth industrial revolution is. Not the details, but just the general terms. And we unpack those in a simple way for leaders to understand. And you need to balance that with embracing this universal and spiritual laws. The laws that stood the test of time that will not change. You need to be able to understand the fundamentals, the do's, the don'ts, and the gray areas of leadership. You need to be able to vision and dream and know where you are going. You need to be able to lead. It takes courage to lead. You need to be able to sell as a leader. You need to be able to nurture relationships, your networks. They say your networks determine your network. Then you need to have the ability to reflect as a leader and question things that are going on within you, whether you are still true to your values. When you invite me, I have four interventions that I facilitate. One, I've got a program called Inspire. Inspire is an intervention where we bring various motivational speakers, role models, and they come and spend about two hours in your company to inspire your team, to take them to the next level. We come also to train. We have folders where we package this valuable information and we come and share it with you and we put people in a group so that there is group learning. I sometimes can sit one-on-one -on -one with you as a coach or with a small team of people where we go deep to understand what the issues are and unpack them. This is where I hold your hand and now assist you. My Connect program helps you with activities such as personal profiling, team building, deep conversations, impact reporting, and so forth. I hope you can find one of these interventions valuable. I'm able to do all this because I spent 14 years in five different universities reading and studying. So I'm a perpetual scholar and I continue to read. I also worked for about 20 years in eight different science and technology companies. And there I worked with engineers and scientists. These are smart people. I've learned from them. I hope you will find this work valuable. Let's continue engaging and I hope one day me and you will connect. Continue inspiring greatness.